Hello, Palpation Nation, and welcome to the vlog. So today isn't a traditional vlog, but I'm gonna call it a vlog because I make up all the rules. It feels a little bit like cheating, but I was in the office all day today, so I typically don't shoot office vlogs, but I'm on call, so I just got called out to a dairy farm. So I always say, I'm beef cattle only, but we do have some dairy clients in our practice because we have a dairy veterinarian. Every once in a while, you get a dairy call for an emergency. So this cow had been calving for a while. It was it was a mystery to the farmer. He had actually palpated her earlier and he could not feel any calf. He thought maybe she had calved and he, he didn't know where that calf was, but then another guy came along a couple hours later and palpated her and all he could feel was ribs, 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 ribs. Every, he could not find legs or head. He did not know what was going on. So I went out there and I found the exact same thing. Uh, all I could feel was, was this weird, I couldn't, I felt like the skin was maybe off a little bit. Well, I'll just show you the picture. So this calf is what's called a inside out calf or a schistosomus reflexus. This is a congenital abnormality that just happens spontaneously. There's been some reports that maybe there's a genetic component, but that has not been well defined. So it just happens. We usually use the, the number one in 100,000. That's the chance of this happening. But this is my third one I've seen in practice. And I don't think I've seen 300,000 cows yet. Maybe, but not quite. One in 100,000 chance that this happens. This spontaneous congenital deformity that happens during embryonic development where the calf's spine is reflexed backwards. Like he's doing a back handspring, but, but then the spine is fused. So the legs and the head are all pointing in the same direction. His head was right beside his butt. And then on the other side, the skin can't fold around and form normally like it would in embryonic development. So what ends up happening is the intestines and the visceral organs are all exposed into the uterine environment. Those calves are alive, right? Usually up until labor starts. And sometimes the calves are even born alive, but they do perish quite quickly because the heart and the organs on the outside then get exposed to all of that uterine pressure. So that uterus is squeezing and squeezing and squeezing and it squeezes on the heart and those calves do perish. So the only two ways usually to get them out, although they can come out the regular way, but usually it has to be a pretty small calf and a really big cow. But usually what we have to do is a fetotomy. So cutting the calf up with fetotomy wire, not pretty. Or the other way is a C-section. Sometimes the C-sections go not too bad. Sometimes the C-sections are quite difficult. So with this cow, based off of where she was in the number of lactations, so she was a very old cow, she was already starting to get septic and she was shocky. I gave the owner about a 50 50 chance of whether or not we were going to have a successful outcome the calf was already dead and there was a high chance of her getting an infection so he elected to euthanize and we took the calf out and looked at it and it truly was a schistosomus reflexus so all i could feel was that the ribs i was just ribs for days so that's schistosomus reflexus it's pretty gnarly to see uh not something that you want to deal with <sighs> I got milk from the milk tank. Oh yeah. Okay guys, that's it for vlog 192. See you next time. Stay out of my gas hole. <laughs>